that though. I know it takes out of you. Just telling him. Like, hey, you gotta go get it, man. You're down. You gotta go finish it. Four. They have the potential to put on a yeah. Mike probably might be one of the most dangerous guys to never really make the top five. He was five when I fought him. Yeah, five. Yeah, five. I think that's the highest he's ever been. Nice, Mike. Don't you stay down. Get up. Oh my God, are you serious right now? How does he get hit with that? Every day, that's how Emmett caught him on that yeah. same little track. You know, kind of one of the things that I like to do being while being here in Denver is, uh, you know, we come over to Justin's and we watch these fights. Just kind of get together a little bit, break up the monotony of just being in the gym each and every day. Whoa! Damn it, dude, I hate to see that. But goddamn, a little bastard's a killer, huh? Yeah. He's a savage. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong <laughs> one that he can pick on. My kids having a wrestling session and they like it a lot. And they very different. Joshua the little one. Joshua is very technical. Very, very athletic. And Pedro is very strong. And they have fun, that's what I like. They just playing around. For sure, we're always pushed to the sports. Wrestling, jiu-jitsu, football, soccer. They're going to do a lot of sports, but and then they pick the one they, they like most. <laughs> yeah, they always watch my fight. They know my opponent's name every single time. I got a video from Joshua on the Titan Woodley fight. And Joshua was very pumped, very hyped. It will be Titan Woodley, right? Yeah! Another one. Yo, Daddy! And every day they say, Daddy, how you feeling? You ready? You're going to be the champion. You're going to be Kamaru. It's gonna be a good week. Hopefully it's warmer in Vegas, but still it's not my high. There's definitely more air. Yeah, it's drier here than Vegas, which is crazy. When Ian comes in, it's pretty much like, I need his whole body to be able to change levels, go different directions. So with Ian, my job is not to try and improve the skill. I've got no hope of trying to do that. But what I can do is I can clear the runway so that way he can actually like perform the skill without any joints not cooperating 100%. Does that sound like a good thing what I do, man? He just gives me foot rubs. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for me, right? Oh, it's sore, yeah. Anytime I get hurt, I used to get so stressed out, like, oh man, I'm gonna have to pull from this fight. But now I don't worry, because if, if Jamie can't fix me, then, then we got problems. But usually he can always fix me about 90% of the time. Yeah, good, but My dog's good, I'm on good, okay. Anything else needs work? No. Anything else you want me to do? I think that's good, man. I think we're good. See you after the win. You know it! Woo!
One of my biggest pleasures in life is being able to represent this team. This team means a lot to me. And man, they've helped me out in so many ways, you know. So when I go in that octagon, I'm in there representing each and every one of these individuals. You know, I want to make each and every one of them proud. I feel like all of these guys are my brothers and sisters, and they're behind me. What we have here in Kings MMA, the feeling that we have after fights, like uh, when the soldier comes from the battle, uh, we like to receive everybody with the same love. It doesn't matter if we have good results or bad results. Muito bom. In the end of the day, it's all about family. And uh, we look forward for a great fight now. We respect our opponent. We know how tough Ian is. Uh, Ian, he likes to exchange as well. It's going to be a crazy fight. I believe both going to put a great show there. But at the end of the day, Kelvin have all apples to knock him out. 100%. Master Cordero and I clicked right away. I mean, he's the reason why I came to California from Arizona. You know, before that, I was kind of skipping around. I was in San Diego. I was in Irvine. I was even thinking about moving to Montreal and training out in TriStar. But uh, once I came here, man, I knew I found my home with uh, Master Cordero. And he's kind of like the, a father figure to most of us. And man, I'm really happy to represent him and his team. Come here, fellas, please. Marvin, son. Bem, professor. First of all, the champ is here. Let's go! Have a blast weekend. Have a blast weekend. I'm excited for Saturday now because we have our boy there. Kelvin Gastelum! This is our boy. This is the boy that we believe. This is the boy that we trust. He has the IQ. He has the power. He has everything to be a champ. He will be. I want to say thank you, all, every each one here, for all help, for all support over this kid. Everybody know how much I love this kid, as you guys love, and we share love working hard. The way you guys show love with him, doing what you guys did, pushing him, don't let him rest. Go, go, go. This is the way we're going to make a lot of champs. Show me your love now. One, two, three, Kelvin <laughs> Gastelum. One, two, three, Kelvin. With your heart. One, two, three, Kelvin! Oh! Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs>